What's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. So I'm just about to hit the gym, getting some pre-workout in. Uh, today is a push day. Now push day is obviously chest, shoulders, triceps, but uh, I've got two push days because you know I got legs, push, pull, and repeat. So I train everything twice per week. So one push day I'll start off with chest, and then the next one I'll start off with shoulders because you're obviously strongest on your first exercise. Um, but regardless, I'm still hitting chest, shoulders, tries in each session. So today is a chest emphasis, so I'll be starting off with bench, so I'll take you along to the gym with me. And tonight is also me and Sarah's five year anniversary. Um, I've gone over so many times how to eat out or like go on a night out during a cut. Do a bit of extra cardio that day. Have a look at the menu in advance, order something smart. I'm probably just gonna get steak and potatoes. Um, maybe do a bit of extra volume, burn some more calories. It's not that complicated, guys. You gotta make this a lifestyle or it's just not gonna last. You know, you're just gonna burn out, you're gonna binge or something like that. So take you along with me today. Let's get this vlog started. What is going on everyone? So I am back with a commentary. You probably noticed that sometimes I do a cool, nifty little edit to my workouts and sometimes I just do a voiceover. I think it's good to uh, do a bit of both. But I didn't get to do a cardio chat today and I didn't get to sit down at my table and just discuss a certain topic. So I think now would be a good time to do so. Today I'm going to talk about cutting um, as it is the theme of the series. But in particular, a lot of people are saying to me, Rob, you're already really lean. You know, if you get any leaner, you know minus 10% minus 8% body fat it's really unhealthy and you know it's gonna mess up your hormones and everything and I completely agree with that I'm not arguing that but a properly done out cut will not affect you as negatively as some people who crash diet or who overly restrict themselves and also there is people I would fall into this category who when they cut down to really low levels of body fat they just don't feel too bad. Like some people, when they get to a really lean level of body fat, like minus 8%, they feel like shit, you know, they've no sex drive, uh, their workouts suck, they feel hungry and drained all the time. I honestly don't feel too bad. Speaking from experience here, I would really recommend if you don't wanna feel like that, to not overly restrict yourself. And that goes for lifestyle and caloric intake and macronutrient intake. A lot of people think, protein, protein, protein when they're cutting. I gotta get protein in or I'm gonna lose all my gains. And that is true, you know, you need a sufficient protein intake to maintain muscle, maintain strength in the gym and recover properly and you know, keep you satiated. But do not neglect fats and carbs. A lot of people go too high on protein and you gotta keep into account that protein does contain calories too. So that makes a lot less room for fats and carbs. Fats are what is going to give you hormonal support, which is very important when you're cutting down to these low levels of body fat. Carbs actually do have a slight effect on hormones too, and carbs are what is going to fuel your workouts. It's gonna help you maintain that strength and muscle in the gym, keep your workouts going well, which is very important. Keep your strength levels up and also just keep you sane. So my advice would be to cut on as many fats and carbs as possible. Still be in a caloric deficit, but there's no need to cut them out completely. I personally have no foods on the banned list. I cut out no food groups at all. Um, you see a lot of people preaching like, oh, you have to cut out this and that. And it's like, if, they, if the individual has no allergies or intolerances to that food group, there, there's literally zero reason to cut them out. It just makes life more difficult for yourself. It's just so unnecessary. Another piece of advice is give yourself plenty of time to cut down. It's a lot easier for someone who's let's say 20% body fat to cut down to 18%, but from someone to go to 10% to 8%, those last few weeks, that, that'll take much longer and it's much more difficult. So, you know, give yourself plenty of time for those final few weeks, cause you know, that's when things really get tough. And you'll see later on in this episode, I go out to eat, you know, I'm trying to keep my lifestyle as enjoyable as possible while I'm doing this cut. So I'm gonna wrap things up there, let you enjoy this raw footage. Uh, comment down below if you like this little commentary and enjoy the rest of the video. Don't forget to leave it a like.
Yes, that time of the month again. This just arrived. Let me crack it open and show you what I got this time. Okay, so first up, we got these spicy meatas. Look pretty damn good though. I'm gonna have them now. Turkey sausages, extra lean mince, more turkey sausages, a little bit more. And then just a ton of turkey burgers. And we got even got my own custom one, LF Sriracha. So if anyone wants to uh, try some of these out, I highly recommend them. Link is down in the description box. Thank you, Kerrigans. I'll keep me going for a good while. All right, guys, so dinner time, and this is what Sarah's wearing. I think she is looking absolutely smashing. Look at her, she's like a little model. All right, so the two of us, the restaurant we're going to tonight, what is it? Feather, Feather Blade. Feather Blade. Uh, we've got a reservation there for seven. Um, so we are so excited. We're gonna go, we're gonna get the full. So hungry. Yeah, we're gonna get the starter, main course, dessert, and just have a great time and reminisce over the last five years. So, let's go. Yay! <laughs> Ah, uh, caught you taking selfies. Shook about a hundred of them. <laughs> I'm not photographing them, so you know why. Ah! I think you're looking beautiful, and I think you're photographing very well. All right, so we decided, um, just as we're driving into dinner, we're going to like just talk about a topic, and that is some pointers that we have on how to get or maintain a five-year relationship. It's not easy. It's not easy. What I was saying, like, I think a lot of girls think that, like, when they're in a relationship, when they meet the one, that it's going to be, like, that princess moment. But at the end of the day, like, you have to work on a relationship, and it's not just going to be easy. Uh, it's not going to be good times all the way through. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Another key is keep standards high like you know always look to impress each other like you know i like staying in good shape for sarah i like dressing up putting on nice clothes do my hair and stuff for sarah you know i always want to impress her as if i'm taking her on a first date and even five years down the line you want to make it still feel like you're going on a first date with them Point another tip i would say would be like arguments they can't be the end of the world like when you're living together like we are and when you're seeing so much of each other you're bound to argue and like one thing that we do is like we have like a code word or something yeah it's whatever like, it is that the, it changes from week to week and um, maybe it, it's usually like a goal we're working towards yeah and if we're argu arguing we just say the code word and it just we just both stop yeah so and like we've gotten so good our arguments aren't even serious things. They never last more than 10 minutes. Yeah. So you couldn't even say that they're serious. If you find yourself arguing a lot, just learn how to just stop it, nip it in the bud, and just the two of you say sorry. Oh yeah, another thing we do, you know, the one, oh, two, yeah. three, yeah. So like, we're both so stubborn at saying sorry. Oh. So like, Rob will be like, Sarah, say sorry, say sorry. And I'll be like, no. Yeah. And then he's like, okay, fine. On the count of three, we both say sorry. And, and we both have to go, one, one two, two, three, three. Sorry. sorry. And if the other person doesn't say sorry on the count of three, it's just not on. That's just not cool. So there are just a few little pointers in our relationship, um, kind of giving you guys a better look at kind of what we're like. Um, so we are going to be at the restaurant, Feather Blade, in about 15 minutes. So I'll show you what we order. Yeah, we are. So I've already looked at the menu uh, online. Does anyone else do that? I do that all the time. To um, get you psyched up. Yeah. So I think I'm going to get the prawns for starter. Yeah. Main, I think I'm going to get a steak, which is really weird because I'm like not a steak person at all. But this is like all. a steakhouse, so, so it's Yeah, be I'm going to get a steak and then for a side i heard they have like truffle mac and cheese which oh my god like i am such a mac and cheese person um after america yeah so i'm gonna probably get that as my side and then dessert is always cheesecake. so well like obviously like cheesecake, cheesecake is queen. my favorite cheesecake is my favorite type of dessert but like 
they've got such good they've got like mini donuts like with different like sauces and stuff and like oh i just would literally like like i'd almost not get a starter and a main and i'd just get three desserts like i was <laughs> such a sweet tooth it's ridiculous i'm a chocolate brownie kind of guy but uh, i haven't looked at the menu i just didn't have time today with jim and i tried to get oh no i looked at it like five days ago when you helped me <laughs> oh right i haven't looked at the menu yet so i'm kind of like i'm gonna go in there it'll be a nice surprise see what i get i'm pumped though all right so just walking in now it's a nippy evening in dublin but i do like when the weather's cold but it's dry um, Dublin City is kind of a... snowing earlier. Isn't it? Yeah, it was snowing earlier. But Dublin City is a lovely place to walk around, especially the older parts of town. I am, I'm so cultured. I'm gonna... Go. <laughs> Oh my god, this looks amazing. So hanger steak with mac and cheese and roasted sweet potato. All right, so beautiful evening with my beautiful girlfriend. We're gonna drive home now. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Keep it real.